Good morning, Josh. <laughs> Cowabunga, guys. Right? It's a great morning here in Iowa City. And this morning, we want to talk a little bit about autism. Because autism awareness is what people are trying to spread throughout the entire country for Autism Awareness Month. Now let's talk about something really cool here. There's not just Michelangelo paintings, there's not just paintings on every form of medium you can find, but what makes this place special is all of the artwork you're going to see here over at the Ark in Iowa City has been created by kids who have autism. And one of the things that just blows me away, aside from just the talent level, is the creativity. Josh, good morning. Good morning to you guys. Autism awareness is alive and well here in the corridor. And this morning we're coming to you live from the Ark of Eastern Iowa, where they have an entire art exhibit set up by around 80 or so students for different projects that they have made. And the thing that all these kids have in common is they all have autism. Now, if you don't know what autism is, it's a, it's a neural disorder and often uh, interferes with their ability to communicate with other people. And the great thing about art is it allows them to communicate and interact with others. And we've seen some really amazing things here this morning. You can check out this. There, this is a, a photography piece that also moves and like any good form of art, gets you to think. It goes from upside down photos to photos that are right side up. How, how cool is that? And this morning we are here with Sarah, who is an art teacher over at Weber Elementary School here in the area and helped a number of these students actually put these projects together. So let's talk about these boxes here for a second. I, I, what were you guys doing here? Um, these boxes were um, given to us for the entire class to work on. My class chose to use the puzzle piece, which is a symbol of autism, and we chose some of the students' interests, like the dinosaurs, one of my kids' favorite things, and it allowed us to work together to create a product. Now, why do you think that doing things like, I, I noticed there's some finger paints here. This is definitely a mixed medium yes. art piece, um, using some non-traditional components like a, a, pu a puzzle piece. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that's good for kids with, with autism? It allows them to um, be able to express themselves um, using sensory things. A lot of our students have sensory issues and this allows them to be exposed to different mediums like um, different puzzle pieces or um, finger paints and different items that they can use to create something. Well, Sarah, thank you for joining us. And she mentioned sensory things, and I want you guys to see this. This is, this is going to blow you away. How, how is this for sensory? Mm -hmm. We're talking about jellyfish. We might be in the Midwest in the middle of no oceans at all, but they've got them right here over at the Ark. And again, these were also made by students with autism. Now, I just introduced you to Sarah, the elementary school art teacher. I now want to introduce you to Sarah, the elementary art school teacher. Now, now Sarah, jellyfish, kind of something a little different here. Um, why do you think the students got something out of these? Um, they really enjoyed this project. We used uh, paper mache over a balloon and then attached the streamers here. And the paper mache allowed them to experience different textures with the wetness and things like that. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. And of course, Sarah, also thank you for joining us here this morning. My friends, if you would like to help support the cause, join Jason, have that information for you. We are covering the corridor in Iowa City. Josh Scheinblum, Fox 28 News at 7.